primer base. Well, oh my God, are you kidding me? For me, for me, it's everything for me. You walk a queen, you always keep it G. For me, for me, that's why I got a thing for you. Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited about today's video because it's such a good day outside and I just wanted to get cute and go take some Instagram pictures with my sis. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna be showing you guys hair, makeup, outfit, all of that good stuff. And I'm probably gonna even show you guys my fragrance. So yeah, if you are watching right now and you have not hit that subscribe button yet, sis, hit that subscribe button. I know this ain't your first time watching my video, girl, and I know it ain't gonna be your last. So hit that subscribe button for me and let's get right into today's video. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today y'all, we are doing a full transformation. Um, hair, makeup, outfit, fragrance, the whole nine yards. And I need to go take some Instagram pictures today. So maybe I will bring you guys along for that. Um, but yeah, I need to get ready for the day, you guys. I have stuff to do and we're gonna start off with my hair because my hair looks crazy. Um, if you guys did not watch my last video, you guys seen that I did like a full wig transformation. And I used this wig, so I'm about to put this wig back on. This is Kiana's mannequin head. I need to buy her a new one, girl, because I done messed this all up. But I'm about to apply my wig, so I'm going to go off camera and apply my wig, and then I'm going to come back and let you guys watch me style it, okay? Because I don't want to show you guys how I apply the wig. I already showed you guys that in my last video, so if you want to know how I apply it, watch that video and then come back here, okay? <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I know I said I was going to put my wig on, but girl, I've been sitting here for an hour trying to put this wig on, and it's just not coming out good. So I'm like, forget it. I'm going to just, I don't know. I'm going to just have to re, I'm going to have to do that later, okay? So I need to do my brows. Um, Like I said, I don't really have anything going on today other than I just wanted to get some Instagram pictures. Um, So maybe I will just, that's pretty much what I'm going to go do today, honestly. Take some Instagram pictures, come home, edit. I'm probably gonna get Starbucks because y'all know if you guys watch my vlogs, then you know how much um, I absolutely love Starbucks. Comment down below and let me know what's your Starbucks order, girl, because I get a um, vanilla chai tea latte. Well, it's, I guess it's not a vanilla chai tea latte. It's just a chai tea latte with like two pumps of vanilla. So that's typically what I get some days my brows come out really really good and then some days they come out like trash today I think it's a good brow day at least over here like I for sure want my brows microbladed 100% sure but I just need to find somewhere to get them done you know okay so I think that is as good as my brows are gonna get they're terrible but you know what whatever so i'm gonna go in with this um nyx hydro touch primer base well oh my god are you kidding me i did not expect that wow okay well apparently my face needs to be hydrated so i'm gonna go in with this hydrating primer all over my skin and i love this primer because it reminds me of the fenty beauty um hydrating primer if you have dry skin you'll really really love this primer but it's like at a fraction of a cost. So as you can see, my skin just literally absorbed all of that. I really love that primer. My skin feels so refreshed. And I'm also going to be trying this today. This is the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer Universal Glow infused with hyaluronic acid. And it is has vegan collagen in it. Um, I have been seeing Tasha talk about this all the time. When she does makeup videos, she always uses it. So I'm like, I want to try it if I can get it open. So I've been saying that I want to try it for a minute now. So I'm going to go in and try it and I'm going to put it like in my T-zone, I guess. I think this is the one. It has glow in it. So I'm just going to put this all in my T-zone. It's such a nice day outside. I'm so excited. It's like we get a lot of nice days here, but it's not like often where it's like nice sunny it's not super duper hot outside like most of the time it's like super duper nice outside but it's so hot you don't even want to be out there so i'm happy that it's not like that today oh oh okay i like we like this i like this primer okay yes i'm starting off i feel like i'm starting off really rocky today in today's video i think it started off with my hair just not coming out the best 
Um, but you know what? That's okay. We improvised or whatever. I also picked up some new Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Caramel. I haven't worn this foundation, y'all. It has been a minute. So I had to get some more of this foundation because I'm like, well, I haven't used it in a while. And I'm going to be applying that with my Camel Concealer Sponge. I picked this sponge up because Aaliyah's face is always talking about this dang on sponge. And it's so soft. I already wet it and everything is so soft. So I'm like, let me try this sponge, but I don't know if I want to blend. I don't know if I like this, like for blending out foundation. Like, I don't think I want to use this for blending out my foundation. I don't know. I don't like the shape of it. Like I'm so used to like a flat shape. I mean, I guess it's going to work. I'm going to put one pump of this, two pumps of this on the back of my hand and I'm going to spread it. It's so funny because when I worked at Sephora, I used to live by this foundation. This was my favorite foundation ever. As you guys can see, it's like the perfect match for my skin. I don't even know why I stopped using this. I kind of want to blend this out with a brush because I feel like this sponge is about to pick up all my product. Yeah, I'm not feeling this. Let me just keep going. Um, I feel like my sponge is picking up a lot of my product. But yeah, I haven't worn this foundation in so long. And when I worked at Sephora, this was like my all-time favorite foundation it has always been like my perfect match i don't know if you guys can tell but like it's like an eraser for my skin and i have just been always loving this and i was just in the store the other day and i seen it and i was like wait a minute i haven't worn this foundation in a minute and i'm so happy that i picked it up because it just feels so lightweight on my skin but it just gives me the coverage it's not giving the coverage that i needed to give so i'm gonna go in with one more pump And then I like this foundation because look, it matches my forehead. Okay, there ain't many foundations that match my forehead. This one is still a tad bit too light, but it's not light enough to where I can't put it on my forehead, if that makes any sense. Like, girl, I look crazy, but we're gonna fix that. This line right here is probably from when I was trying to put my lace on. So let me fix that real quick because I look a mess. I'm gonna blend all of that out later with some um, powder and stuff. But yeah, I really love this foundation. Okay, and I actually like this sponge. Now that I'm using it, I like it. But this sponge is so soft, it just feels like it's just going to absorb all of my foundation. So that's why I was a little skeptical. But I like it. My skin looks good. It's blending out perfectly. Oh my god, this foundation looks so good. I love this foundation on my skin. I don't know why I stopped using it. Does anybody ever get like that? Like you get a new foundation and you forget about your old ones. And then you're like, I don't know why I stopped using the old one in the first place. That's how I'm feeling right now. So I also picked up a new concealer. This is in the shade Sand. And I love this concealer as well. But this looks like it's going to be a little, 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 little bit light for my skin tone right now. Oh, no, it's not. It's fine. So I'm just going to apply that. This concealer is bomb. This used to be my favorite. Oh, excuse me. This used to be my favorite concealer as well. So I'm really happy that I bought more. And I'm happy that I can buy this locally. Like this concealer and this foundation, I can just go to the store and pick it up. I don't have to like order on Sephora. So that's good because I just placed an order on Sephora yesterday. I got the new Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzers. I got some of the Huda, like the new Huda tinted moisturizer. I picked that up and then I picked up a few other items like the Fenty Beauty Heat um, lip gloss or whatever. So I got all of that and I can't wait for it to come in. So when it gets in, I'm going to definitely show you guys everything that I got and do a video on it, okay? Y'all, I feel like I'm rushing, probably because I am rushing, trying to hurry up and get done with my makeup. I typically don't put product on my forehead, but because I put the foundation there and it was a little too light, I just put a little bit of my um, cream bronzer or my foundation stick on my forehead. If I did not tell you guys, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Cocoa Foundation Stick. And I have been using this as concealer for, I mean, as my contour color for a few years now. And I absolutely love it. I want to reach out and try more products, but I just feel like this is like the perfect warmness for my skin, you know? So I haven't even tried really anything new, but I need to. So send your recommendations. If you have any recommendations for like a cream bronzer, 
or cream contour color, let me know down below so I can try it because sometimes we just get like stuck inside of our own little routine and we forget to try new stuff. And I have to remember that this is my job and I don't wanna be doing the same makeup looks or not even necessarily the same makeup looks, but I don't wanna be using the same makeup products every single time you guys watch my channel. So I always try to use a different product if you guys have not noticed that. Whether it's something new or old that I have. Um, I'm so obsessed with my skin right now. I'm like, wow. My skin looks so good. <laughs> Who is she? This sponge is really, really good. Wow. I'm going to the store today to buy more. Because I am loving this sponge. It's so tiny. And it fits like perfectly right under my eye, right over my eyebrow. You know how sometimes you have those sponges that are too big. So when you are like trying to, you know, do over your eyelid, it kind of like messes up your eyebrows. This sponge don't do that. I just, I love it. I will have a link to all the products that I use down below. So that way you guys can um, check that out in case you guys want any other products that I'm using. I will make sure that I link everything down below. I really suck at linking all of my products, but I'm really trying to get better at linking them so that way you guys know where the products are. And two, it shows brands that I'm linking their stuff. So maybe I'll get a sponsorship one day because believe it or not, y'all, I've never had a sponsorship. So, you know, that's not my goal, but it would be nice to be recognized enough by a brand to get a sponsorship. So one day we will get there. But in the meantime, between time, I'm gonna keep linking my stuff and I'm gonna keep doing my job. My skin, wow. Y'all can't tell me my skin don't look good right now. My skin looks bomb. And I'm just taking some of that concealer um, that was already on my sponge and just kind of blending that out. You see how I just brightened it up a little bit in the center? Oh my God, I'm like here for this makeup look. Yes. I'm about to get some good pictures today. My skin looks so good, wow. I'm so excited. I just love when I just have like a really good makeup day, you know what I mean? Like, y'all know what I'm talking about? We just have those days where it's like, today is going to be a good makeup day. That's how I feel right now. Like today's gonna be a good makeup day, which means it's gonna be a good picture taking day. So I'm happy about that. For my cream blush, I'm gonna go in with my Danessa Myricks blush. So this blush is extremely pigmented. So I highly recommend, I'm telling y'all be real careful when y'all using this blush because it is so pigmented and it sticks to your skin, okay? So do not try to use this product on dry skin or on like uh, already powdered skin. Girl, you will regret it. But I love this blush. I'm gonna go on with one more layer of concealer just because I just want a little bit more of a brighter under eye. I feel like, I don't know, I just love when my under eyes are like super bright. It's just something about the bright under eye that I just can't get over. Like, I just am loving it, especially for summer right now because my skin is super tan. So having like a super bright under eye with like my brown skin, <gasps> yes. It just comes out. It just be looking so bomb. I'm gonna set my under eyes with my Hourglass Translucent Powder. I really love this powder, especially for like setting under my eyes and stuff because it is such like a very fine powder. So I feel like there's less room for my makeup to look cakey under my eyes. And it just gives me like that airbrush effect every single time. So I really love using this powder like under my eyes and in my T-zone just because you see that? It just looks airbrushed like freaking flawless so I love to use this powder at least under my eyes and then maybe I'll use like a least ex at least a less expensive product um on my whole face or most likely my Charlotte Tilbury which is what I'm going to be using today but for the most part I love using this powder under my eyes it's so thin so lightweight like you see that like just airbrushed flawless flawless okay The only thing I don't like about this powder is I don't like that this is, the H is where the powder comes out. 
so you really don't get that much powder um like at one time you gotta like shake it to get a lot and then this is about how much that comes out but i guess it works because it helps your product last a little bit longer because you're not just overly using you know overly using powder or whatever and i also like this for like using it on my forehead because it's such a fine powder so like i said you can't even tell that there's powder there it just looks airbrushed and then whatever's left over i just like to put that on my nose i really don't like to put powder on my nose at all um so this is like perfect perfect and for the rest of my face i'm gonna go in with my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish uh, face powder in the shade number three and remember my face is still wet so if you do this on wet face you want to make sure that you pat it first and then start swiping and rubbing it in like like this but if you just do this automatically without even um what's that called without without setting it first you're gonna have like a muddy face so keep that in mind when i first started using this powder i thought it was too dark but I think I was just using too much, so. Because it's like perfect. Like my whole skin, oh my God. Mixing these two together, like for your skin routine or for your makeup routine, baby girl, like my skin be looking like skin, okay? It looks so good. Like look at my skin, it looks so good. And I haven't even done, like I haven't even added my bronzer, my blush, nothing. Like I could really just leave my makeup like this and go about my day. That's how good my skin looks, okay? Um, so I'm gonna take my Impanima Sun bronzer, you guys know I love this bronzer, on a Morphe R2 brush. Period, so all I really gotta do now is, um, Fun fact, I hate putting powder on my um, eyelids because I just feel like it makes them look so fake. So if I do use powder, I most likely will only use my um, hourglass powder on my eyes because this is the only powder that is so lightweight and so thin. So it doesn't change like or make my eyes look cakey. Like I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna go off camera real quick and put on my um, my wing liner and then for lashes I have so many pair of lashes and I have no no idea which lashes I want to use but I'm thinking I either want to use these ones are already open so I'm probably going to use one of these because I have Mykonos so extra Mykonos and Ibiza and I feel like these are all too too much for my eyes right now so I think I'm going to go in with so extra Miami's these are the ones I think I'm going to wear so I'm going to put on my lashes and do my wing liner and then we'll finish out the face. Okay, so I went off camera and I did my eyeliner, but I'm waiting on my lashes to dry. So I figured I would just run and get dressed and finish off the look while we wait for that. I'm just putting some mascara on. Uh, this is by CoverGirl. It's just a random mascara, y'all know me. Okay, when it comes to mascara, I don't believe in spending a lot of money on mascara. So yeah, put my stuff on. Yeah, I was supposed to be ready at one o'clock. It's 1.20. Messing around with my doggone hair done mess me up on my timing. So I'm gonna refilm today. And you guys will probably see that um, zero to 100 transformation on Wednesday. So yeah, because I couldn't be bothered. I need to get an Instagram picture. It might not even be sunny the next couple days. So I'm like, let me just make some up real quick. Um, what else do I need to do? blush? This isn't necessarily a blush, y'all, but y'all know I've been using this for years. This is uh, Maui Nights by Becca as well. And this is actually a bronzer for like um, really dark skin tones. But I love it as my blush. So that's what I'm going to use. But I really need to get more blushes because y'all know I use like the same two to three blushes. And y'all probably get tired of that. So I need new blushes for sure. Cute. So I have my lashes on. I ended up going with So Extra Miami. I love these lashes. And I sprayed my face with my Smashbox Primer Water. I love this stuff. Ever since I bought it, y'all, y'all haven't seen me use anything else. And I'm so mad that I've been sleeping on this. Um, but I like it because it's not just a setting spray. It's a refresher as well. So 
period i love that all right y'all so i finished the rest of my makeup and i absolutely love it if you guys want to know what i use on my lips i used the nyx eye pencil in the shade light brown you guys know i love this lip liner and then um, for my center lip color, I went in with the Dior Lip Glow Oil in the color 007. And then like for the outside, I went in with this Lip Maximizer by Dior in the color, I can't even see this, uh, 013, I believe. I will link everything in the description box down below. Um, but yeah, y'all, I love it. I'm going to show you guys my outfit. So let's get into that real quick. All right, you guys. So here is the outfit. My top is from Shein. It's actually a bikini top. My pants are from H&M, belt H&M, bag Shein, glasses is from Shein, and my shoes are from Doc Martens. I almost forgot about fragrance, so before we close out the video, I'm going to go in with my Zara Gardenia fragrance. I love this fragrance. It just smells so good, and it just, it reminds me of like summer and like feeling good outside, so I'm going to spray that and... I think that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you have not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, sis, because I know you're going to come back and watch another video, so you might as well subscribe, and you know I'm trying to reach 100K by the end of the year. So hit that subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.